Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Make a Game. In this episode we're going to be doing some more on the mainly creating some skills for our uh, actors. So we're going to be creating uh, skills for both Lynx and Sarah. But first we're going to just set up our skill types. I'm going to use arts for uh, links and magic for us. So let's also add system. Change that to magic. And go into their class. Modify their uh, things. I haven't actually set her up properly yet so we'll also do that while we're magic staff uh magic armor general armor and accessory See all of them yep and we'll leave that as it is so let's create our first uh, art. We will be using this icon here. Inside the battle screen, there'll be one enemy, and we're going to make it cost five. Okay. And we're going to just do something basic like fire slash. Strike the enemy with a fire. Imbued. I'm going to set the animation to slash fire. TP gain will leave as it is. Set it to uses. Uh, we're going to make sure the weapon type is sword. You'll tend not to use this, but it's better in case you decide to go unequipped in battle for some reason. HP, damage, fire. And then the formula we're going to do is just going to be the same attack. So we'll copy this over and you can crit. So attack times 4 minus B defense times 2. So what this is is user's attack multiplied by 4. So we bring our notepad. So let's say our attack equals 10. And their defense equals 5. So it'd be 10 times 4, which equals 40, minus 5 times 2, which equals 10, which equals 30. That'd be the base damage. Then you'd have a 20% uh, variance on that, which would be either plus or minus 6 meaning the lowest is 24 and the highest is 36 or at least I believe that's right it might be different uh, in the code you might end up with different values you also have to factor in element this is just the base formula okay and the reason we're doing TP is to use the TP system which we are using right uh, system Play TP and power. So that's a basic skill. Set this to physical attack as well. Just because this can help decide what kind of attack it is. As well as uh, what is affected, like physical attacks uses the user's hit rate and evasion rate well user's hit rate and target's evasion rate then magic attack is based on the target's magic evasion here we have fire slash which we will give to uh links after he sarah uh so let's create a skill for sarah we're going to create a Magic skill, we're going to do ice. Let's go find ice. We'll do ice one. 
you ever want to know what the animations look like, how slash fire was like this, and ice one is like this. So we're just going to call this Icicle. HP damage. I'm going to use Ice. Now, you may have noticed that I use the basic attack. There are other methods you can use for magic attack and magic defense. So, the formula we can do is A dot mat for magic attack multiplied by 4 minus B dot mdef times 2. So magic attack and then magic defense. But what I like to do with magic is to do 20 plus that. And I tend not to allow criticals with it. And that's a magical attack casts. Now with speed, uh, you can have like a casting time like the lower this is the slower they move i believe it is might be the other way around uh, value that is added to the yeah okay value that is added to the agility so if we did minus 25 be their agility minus this number so they'd likely go last so we're gonna set it to minus 10 set that to battle screen one set this down magic use 7 mp uh, creates an icicle around the enemy dealing and we don't require a weapon for this so click apply ensure that's saved and we're going to give Sarah her at level 1 but we're not going to give links any what instead what we're going to do is go to the church we are going to add a skill here so change skill for links we're going to choose fire slash You're also going to do a quick thing. It's going to be what am I doing? Then we're going to do the icon and choose the icon from here going to choose this so icon 76 so links land fire slash but we're also going to put that in that color there so links land fire slash then we are going to wait i believe that's waiting one second yep wait one second we're going to wait three seconds and then think that's automatic do not wait for input to this. okay so we're also going to do play fanfare we'll do item and we'll add a quick Wait there. Because this is also going to happen while it's faded out. So let's go apply. Okay, hang on. I undo one more thing, otherwise, it's just going to be fun. Copy this. Paste it there and on this one, paste it 
So now let's launch the game and we will. Hang on, there's one more thing I forgot to do. I'm going to quickly pop into actors. Just give uh, stuff. We haven't actually created some armor, so she's armor. And done that. Now we'll go play. Save. I'm going to have to turn the volume down because I can tell this is already going to be loud. Or not. There's no sound at all. Did I mute it at some point? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, do I have one that is outside the church? Where is this? Perfect. I haven't had a now load in. So. Let's head in here. Now let's just skip through all the text. Because we covered all this in the previous video and the video before. And Link's Land Fire Slash. And if you look, Sam knows Icicle and uh, Link's knows Fire Slash. What we're going to quickly do is find out how many frames for some reason. Just gonna go in here. It's a beginning counter, so I can show off the skills. So um Okay, so we know that it works if you haven't got a weapon equipped. Anyway, fire slash. The spider, and we'll do ice school on this spider. So the first hit dealt 140. That one was 150. You may be wondering why does um, ice school seem so weak? But you also notice normal attacks are weak, considering the fact that Fire Slash and um, Fire Slash and normal attack uses the same formula. That is because we set our uh, Fire Slash skill to be Fire Element, and if we go to our Spider element rate is 150% meaning it is a lot weaker to fire uh, so the damage being dealt there it has a modifier attached okay let's create another skill this one's going to be more handy we're going to use this icon here and it's going to be first aid Covers a small amount of HP for one ally. That's our magic. Set this to eight. And we can change the scope to one ally. What's going to do? Kill one. Casts first aid. This time we're going to do HP recover. Element none. And for this, we're going to do a uh, very specific amount. We're going to do B dot 
MHP divided by 4. So if our max HP equals 120, then we divide that by 4. That's going to equal 30. Just to double check. So uh, HP would be healed by 30 points. Because on this one, we're doing a 0% variance, meaning it will always be the same. Sorry about that little break. And we're going to give that to Sarah as well. Now this time, I should have saved after I got out of the thing, but it's fine. It muted itself again. Stop muting, please. Why is it doing this now? There we go. So again, we'll go in. I'll probably cut out this cutscene. Okay, so. We look at Sarah's skills, you'll notice that Icicle is... Uh, trans has some transparency to it, but first aid is usable in the menu. So if we use it... You can see we've recovered some HP. And let me get into a battle. Let me also re equip you, and I'm going to quick save as well so you don't have to keep doing this. Okay. So I'm just going to attack these twice just so I need to get some damage uh, okay that works so we can use first aid in battle as well and choose who we want to uh, heal in this case we'll do Sarah and there's the animation it healed 112 Let me escape. It healed 112. So if we do 450 divided by 4, that's 1. Point, nope, that's 112.5. Which means you have to, uh, it will be rounded down instead of uh, rounded up. Maybe it's a bit different if it's above 0.5. Which means if you were... Uh, down to let's say 1 HP, it would take 5 I think to recover? Might take 4 because you'll be on 1 HP. But that's how we uh, create skills. So we create a few skills. 1 for links and attacking. 1 for uh, Sarah and some magical spell. And then one for uh, Sarah and recovery. With recovery, I tend not to change the speed, but one can do something like that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, hopefully, we'll have more episodes coming out soon. I'm going to try and do one once a week, along with all my other videos I'm going to try and do once a week. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.